So, here we are. My first uh, proper adventure since breaking my foot. It's uh, about four o'clock in the evening. The sun has gone behind the hill behind us. And uh, we're now just starting to uh, climb up this pit of van. So, uh, it'll be dark by the time we reach the summit. Then we're gonna camp out on top and uh, see what happens from there. And climb the north face of Penavan in the morning. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'd say the uh, thing that gets me the most about this is how strikingly beautiful it is. It's, it's insane. Let's look at that. So we're now the last three people on the hill, it seems. There's uh, only a couple of other people horses up there doing other signs of life. <laughs> it's about quarter to five. Oh, there's others on the mountain, we're not alone. Cramp on time. crampons on ice is uh, considerably easier. So, um, it's really cold. <laughs> it's hideous. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have mar uh, martinis on top of a van in like minus two degrees. Show the wall nothing. I don't want to, I'm scared. <laughs> that is all ice. Nice. That's ice that is. We're, 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 we're gonna die tonight guys. It was nice knowing you all. <laughs> We successfully made it to sunrise. Oh yeah. <sighs> that probably means we're not gonna die. I swam in that lake. <laughs> There's the sum of Penavan. About 30 to 40 metres apparently. Away from us. And uh, these are the conditions we're dealing with. Needless to say, it's pretty grim. So it's quarter past three, I think. Yeah, about that. And uh, making the descent, final descent. Making the final descent off Penavan. Clouds come in and we can't see Jack all. And we've lost Reese. Oh no, there he is. Oh, out of the clouds. Excellent. Oh, we're not on. The, we're on the right trail there. Yeah. Uh, now we have a date with the burger van. Despite being able to see nothing, we managed to find the snow hovel again. I can't believe it. Oh. I can't believe we've slept here. <laughs> I for one have no desire to see this place again. <laughs> this place is hideous. At times it seemed rather unlikely, but we've, uh, we've finally made it down to Story Arms. And now we're just walking to the bus stop. We've got about half an hour wait. Before the bus will take us home to Ponte. Where there's warmth and beer. We made it to the bus. Yay! <laughs> oh. 
At the end of last year, we started going on a number of different little adventures to uh, Snowdonia, Pembrokeshire, the Lake District, or even uh, Fontainebleau in Paris. But then, towards the end of summer, I uh, I went and broke my foot, as I uh, as I showed you all. And now, it's all healed up. We're going on our first adventure. So this time, we're going up to Penavan. It's uh, usually quite a simple walk. I've done it many times, but because it's uh, winter and about minus two degrees up there at the moment and due to get colder at the end of the week, we uh, we think it should be quite exciting and a, a little bit different. But because of such, we're going to go through all the uh, stuff I have to take with me to make sure it all goes well. A fairly standard climbing rack we have here. Uh, quick drawers here, a set of nuts which you uh, stick into the rock, and a new set of cams which we recently bought for the climbing club, which are particularly fancy things. Some slings and a harness, of course. However, due to the fact that it's minus two degrees and there's ice and snow, we also have to take all of this stuff as well. Crampons, mountaineering boots, my favourite toys, ice axes, as well as some ice screws, and a couple of other little bits, some, uh, some kind of bulldog here and some pitons to stick into the rock. We will of course be taking a selection of ropes as well, and the plan is to camp overnight on top of Penavan, so it's going to be about minus five, so for that we need a whole load of other kit. So I'm walking over a selection of different insulating layers, from a lightweight fleece through to a more technical down jacket, as well as a waterproof coat to go over the top. Proper pair of winter gloves here, and... Uh, some water trousers just in case. When camping, I'm using a, a, a bivy bag because it's so much lighter than a tent and I, I don't really have space in my bag with all the climbing kit. And this wonderful piece of kit here, this is a uh, Alpine, Alpine Dream 700 by Alkit. Not gonna bore you with all the technical specifications, but basically it should keep me warm up to minus 10. And we're expecting minus five, so this should be more than adequate. Food-wise, we're going Full expedition style and using boil in the bag expedition packs. So we've got 10 of these each, but we'll uh, only be taking one or two. As well as, of course, some other snacks. But uh, I should probably go find my stove. 